Hi, I'm Abigail Mill and I'm a textile artist and I specialise in machine embroidery. I've developed this new range of applique kits for my customers who are keen sewers and have tried my sewing kits but have asked for something a little bit more adventurous and maybe a little bit more intricate to push them further. These kits are designed so that you can sew them by hand or a free motion machine. Inside the kit there's an 8 inch embroidery hoop, a pattern and instructions and everything that you need to make up the picture. And I'm going to run through each design individually so you can see how to make the pictures up. There are about a dozen designs at the moment in this range, ranging from florals to sea themed ones, seals and fishing boats. And they're all available online at abigailmill.co.uk. For the canal barge kit, Inside the box you will have an 8 inch embroidery hoop and all of the pieces of fabric that you will need to make up the kit. Alongside those, these are very important, there are two instruction sheets. One is for the actual barge and then the back one is for the bridge and for the canal. The other piece of paperwork is attached to the inside of the lid and you can remove this on the front there is um, a link to the YouTube channel so that you can have a look at this video and all of our social media and then on this side are the instructions. So the illustration should tally with other piece of fabrics and all of the instructions are along here. I'm just going to run you through the different pieces. So the brown piece of fabric is for the bridge and then the blue floral will be cut with a pattern as a diagonal to create the canal and then the slightly darker floral will be the shadow under the canal barge. Aside from that we have the lace that goes along the body of the canal barge which is this piece here, the base of the canal barge in the grey and then the stripe which I will explain later that you'll cut through and embroider and then the wee rosebud which will go on the front of the barge. There are a few other bits and pieces that you will need that aren't included in the kit. So I've got basic dressmaking pins, some sharp fabric scissors and a paper glue which could also be a fabric glue. And then I've chosen three variegated threads here. Um, I'm a fan of a variegated thread because you get such level t tonal uh, differences in them and it saves having to keep changing different coloured threads and it's a time saver. So I've chosen the brown to go around the canal barge and then the blue for the actual canal and then the green for the grass and for the willow tree. I've cut out all of the paper patterns and this is an important stage because I've worked out which piece of fabric collates with each pattern. The blue pale floral is going to be um, the actual canal. Once that's cut out that will then layer onto this green bed here to form the river. The brown is obviously the bridge and there are two pieces here to be cut out and quite cleverly I'm going to use the back because that's a different tone as well. So the arc is going to be flipped up so you've got a light and a dark tone to the bridge so that can be glued on over the top of the base of the bridge. The tweed is the base of the canal barge and then the stripe is really important because that forms the line, the linear edge on the top of the canal barge as well as along the details of the canal barge and this is the main body of the canal barge here. And then the lace, again, just you just need two strips of that and that's going to run across the top to, shop, to form the shape there. The um, slightly darker blue is going to be the shadow that sits on the river under the canal barge itself. And then this green one is going to be the, um, the willow leaves, so you want to fold that into four, so fold it twice and then pin on the pattern and then cut into that and chop away. When you unpin it, you'll have four pieces that then you can use and, and dangle, and that's going to be quite textural, that piece. So that's ready to go now. So we can start building up our picture from all of the pieces. I've worked the brick stitching in a variegated brown and then the lace over the top and just trapped that down. For the top section of the barge, very similar again, obviously the base was cut out. Now I've used for the windows another centre section and then just cut across and that was that long strip. So I've glued it down and he's just pleated as a fold in one and two places. So that's ready to go and then I've just stuck down the last two pieces of lace as I showed you. Now trying to get boats in perspective on pictures is incredibly difficult so you do need to jig it around a bit and make sure that you've got it right. So the inner piece needs to sit inside that barge and then that needs to be pinned down. 
So the next bit to stitch is around the dark red and picking up that roof line and around the windows and the door. So that should be stitched first and then this needs to be bedded down with a dark thread all the way around there. And then the last piece to go down is the willow tree. So that could be clustered through here and then couch down at the top here and then let that fall and we can work over that and just tack it down in little areas. Maybe fray the willow a little bit more because it's a bit clumpy and unsubtle at the moment for me. And then we'll just put some birds in the background as well. So I've machine embroidered around the boat, first the base that's then tucked in and then with the dark blue all the way around the bottom of the barge. And now I am hand sewing the rosebud in as the last piece for the boat. And I'm going to move my hoop and then embroider the seagulls in the foreground so I'm just going to move it slightly. And then the piece will be finished. But as you can see that's looking pretty effective already. And you can embellish it with your own bits and pieces, you could put bull rushes up and down the sides. So this picture is now ready to frame up, it can be mounted, spray mounted and then stitched through the mount board and then framed. I hope that you've enjoyed making up your applique picture. I do have some other designs available on my website at abigailmill.co.uk if you fancy trying another one out. If you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful, then please leave me a like and hit the subscribe button for future videos. Thanks very much. Bye.